This might be a short video, this might not be, I'm not really too sure. But the Vegas Golden Knights have fired Peter DeBoer. And it's not really news that I think anybody should be too surprised to hear about, but there are many things that can go into this conversation that I think we do need to address. So, the Vegas Golden Knights were not the best team this season. However, there are many factors that you could say played into that entire outcome. Firstly, did the Vegas Golden Knights underperform in 2021-2022? I think it would be fair to say they did. Secondly, did the Vegas Golden Knights have a bad hand because of all the injuries and all the stuff that their players had to go through? Absolutely. Thirdly, did Peter DeBoer do a good job in handling all of this stuff together? I honestly don't think so. And a bonus, a fourthly. Take a look at the Vegas Golden Knights and what they needed to do to make the playoffs. They needed to get some points. And they were, what was it, like 4-2-4 four, and four in their last 10? Yeah, a lot of chokes, a lot of losses, and it really wasn't the best when it came to what you needed to see out of the Golden Knights. Peter DeBoer was indeed the guy that was supposed to help the team go forward and win, but they did not end up doing so. They had a series of losses that were all documented and all laughed at by the rest of the league. And so, when you go over to the way the Golden Knights have handled these situations in the past, when it comes to the Gerard Gallant firing from earlier last season, or last year, whatever it was, I forgot what it was, that was sort of reactionary. And I think a lot of people would agree that Gallant getting fired so prematurely into the season was not really what most people wanted to do. But for Peter DeBoer, this is completely different because not only did the guy have himself a roster that actually was pretty good on paper some nights that he was not able to get the best out of, but he also alienated his goalies to the point that you had the entire controversy with Robin Lehner and Flurry the other year. Now this season, it's Robin Lehner and Thompson. You had Peter DeBoer throwing Lehner under the bus repeatedly in the media, only to start the guy again, only to let him give up a goal or two and then pull him in the second period intermission, even though it's a tie game. Like, it was very strange the way that Peter DeBoer was running this team, and a lot of Vegas fans were very weirded out with the process that he would exhibit during certain segments of the season. Not to mention the power play as well. The team is too good to have gone so cold in the way that they did, and they have Jack Eichel for crying out loud. Again, there are injuries that were involved too, but still... This move of firing DeBoer, I think, makes a lot more sense than the firing of Gallant, which happened previously. It is just kind of interesting to me to see where Peter DeBoer is going to go next, due to the tenured success that he does have. He did make the finals twice, after all, so it's not like this guy's a total bum out there. It's just as time went on in Vegas, you started to see the cracks show a little bit more, you started to see a little bit less stability in the way that he was doing his job. So... What's that stat that he's made the third round like five times or whatever it is? There's going to be some NHL team that picks up DeBoer, but not because of what he had done this previous season. Nobody's going to go out there and expect him to throw their goaltenders under the bus again. Nobody's going to go out there and expect him to stop using an effective roster effectively. There is a body of work here, though, which will probably guarantee DeBoer getting a job elsewhere, so you can let me know in the comments where do you think that is going to be. And as for Vegas, I mean, Barry Trotz is a guy that I think could fill that hole nicely. Everybody talks about the defensive-oriented style that Trotz possesses. I don't know about you, but Vegas is a team that I think can play some very good defensive hockey, especially watching them as a Vancouver Canucks fan. So it does make a little bit of sense here. It's just, I don't really know if that's the best fit in the world. There are some other coaches that are in the mix as well that could be discussed too. So you can let me know in the comments all your thoughts about Barry Trotz, whether or not he would be the right fit for the Vegas Golden Knights, and where do you think people Peter DeBoer is going to end up next after getting fired. He still had a pretty good run as the head coach of the Vegas Golden Knights, winning a whole bunch of games and making some playoff pushes as well. Although, the ending, the throwing the goaltenders under the bus, the power play, the underperforming roster, it was all enough fodder to go out there and say, okay, sorry, but we need to go elsewhere with our coaching. So, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this British Rajas 99. And bye.